Hey guys, it's me, Intuitive Tara. I am um, making this video for a lot of reasons. <laughs> for one, some of you psychics that are working, working on the Summer Wells case, you guys need to just for one stop, okay? For a stop to don't steal people's, you know, um, when they comment, you know, when they comment, and then um, you make like a whole series on my comment. Uh, for one, oh, and then another thing. All right. Don't, don't call people. Don't call the little towns people. That's for the professionals. That is for the people who are actually working on the case and then are, are putting it all over YouTube. And, oh boy, this is just bad. Okay, so a long time ago, I left coordinates on one of these mediums websites and I am an intuitive psychic and spiritual medium I do work on cases the law for one law enforcement cannot ever disclose they work with mediums or psychics because it is admissible in court you know who's gonna say oh the psychic told me no they take They take what the detect the psychic detective finds and they look into it. Most of the time it's correct. And most of the time the case is already figured out long before the public knows. But whew, this is a doozy, and um, there's a lot going on. So, obviously, this land was owned by the Goids, the Golds, the, you know, family, which has been there since the 1800s. They came from Arkansas, actually. Um, we can, I have a little story here, <laughs> and it's, you know, William Goyd, or whatever, Goyd, Goyd, and there's also a little tidbit about uh, an eccentric David Dodson, yeah, um, he's related to Donald, Donald Wells. So, um, it goes way, it goes back, but, um, so the Goyd family actually is the one who founded the Baptist church there in, uh, I think it's White, White County, Warren County, right there. Um, so I will, I have it all up here. I have like tons, tons of, uh, screens open here. And they have access to a lot of land around there and it's odd because they live in a little hut without i don't even they don't have electricity it's not it doesn't say electric on there so um they live in that and there are like other homes close to it we have you know um Let's see, on June 7th of this year, a few days before summer was missing, um, the property on the bottom of the hill, that 2.28 acres, um, that sold. That sold for 
$11,500, it says, um, which in 2016 is sold for $22,750. And that is running right down Interstate 81. 81 is a good number. Okay, so we also have the 165 Ben Hill Road is 6.23 acres, and that has a mobile home on it that's been there since 1999. Um, what else we got here? 110. Oh, yeah, another one was sold. Um, 242 was sold on January 6, mm -hmm. 2020. But a lot of these are like 78 acres and um, Mm-hmm. Sorry. Um, a lot of things that I said before, too, is like, it's June. You know, summer, have a long sleeve, zip up hoodie on. It looks like the hoodie literally was used to, you know, when someone put a safety belt on her to like hold her up while someone put a safety belt on her, positioned her. Um, in all the pictures I've seen this summer, she has never been that clean. If you look at her fingernails, look at her body, look at her hair, you know. If she was in that gross house water, so, okay, this is another question. So, they brought, so Candace brought her clothes, an extra change of clothes. Um, where's the bathing suit? You know, it's one of my questions. Where's the bathing suit? That is not Candy's voice in the video when they come back, where she's asleep. That is not Candy's voice. Um, and the voice is very, can we say, oops, I'm gonna have to, hold on. Sorry, my camera's starting to be weird. Okay, that was not Candy's voice, and the voice was very concerned. It was very concerned, like, no, no, she's not moving, no. That was not Candy's voice. I don't think Candy went with them that day. Because how the heck did she walk in with on one leg while you leave your kid and the other kid in the car? And another thing that I keep thinking about is the whole, how Dawn said that they gave a puppy away. They gave a puppy to Allison and them, I guess. And that day, the puppy showed back up. It's not like they just lived down the street or block. It's not like, you know, this is like in the middle of nowhere where your neighbor it was like a mile or two, at least. You know what I mean? And they lived. So how does puppy get back there? Another thing is um, on what what road is it? It's right here. Um, I think summer is either right in that whole thing, right to the right of the door. Is that like where it goes under the house? Either there or at what is this? Um, two o nine Ben Hill Road. There is a there is a weird well, and it's like with the first picture. All this stuff you can find if you just look. I also. I'm going to have to stop this video in a, couple, in a minute and have a number two because I've found a lot of information I have. Um, Don and Candace have an extensive, extensive um, record. And, and Don, Don's a traveler. That guy's a traveler. He's lived in a lot of places. So, and... Have you ever noticed how much older Dawn is than Candace? And Dawn 
is related to the Goyds that used to live there, where they quit declaimed the property, where the property is worth like 30 grand and then they bought it for six, you know. And three of the Goyds died in 19, was it 92 or 97? All, like, somebody that lives on the property is dying once a year. And have you noticed how Summer's father, he wasn't that sick, was he? Rose. But it does say that Rose lives in Rogersville. She's lived there since 2010 to now. Odd. I will be back with number two. And I will show you all the evidence I found. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.